This video shows the hoop house construction that occurred in fall 2013 on our student garden. This hoop house is a semi-permanent structure that can be taken down from year to year. It is a 6 foot by 20 foot structure and it is 7 feet high. This video will take you step by step through the process of how to put together a hoop house of this size. This hoop house will be used throughout our class for seed starting and for our season extension harvesting. The first step in the process was to inventory all of our parts and materials. We have all of our materials are set out here. They're inventoried. We know that we have exactly everything that we need to build our small hoop house. The second step is determining where you'll put the hoop house and exactly where it lays out according to your plan. In this case we took a measuring tape and pulled from our fence which we knew was square and placed a flag exactly where we wanted our first ground post to go. Therefore we used the fence as a frame of reference to make the sides of the hoop house square. However, we still will go through how to use the 345 rule to make sure that your house is square. We pulled from the other side the exact same distance. After we put down where our first four ground posts would be, we connected them with string and used the 345 rule for squaring a structure. So the 345 rule refers to creating a right angle triangle. You do this by measuring on one side of the string that it goes out to three feet. You measure on the opposite side four feet long and then you measure across those two spaces and where that point meets should be five feet long. If you do this at each corner, you will have a perfect square of your structure. Use this laser level here to find the point on the ground post at which it would be level with the other ground post. So we hammer it in down to that point. Once all the ground posts are in and level, we lifted in the rafters and secured them with two tech screws. We secured all of our ground posts with two tech screws on the inside of the structure. We continued to place the rafters over the ground posts and secure them with two tech screws connecting them on the inside of the hoop house. The next step is to focus on the purlin, which is usually a pipe that runs horizontal through the middle of all of the rafters. This provides support for the whole entire structure. We start by connecting the pipe and sliding it through the brackets. The next step was securing the baseboard. The baseboard of a hoop house is usually used for extra support as well as connecting the plastic to the baseboard. In this case, we use a 2x6 baseboard. We connected it at one end and leveled alongside the board to make sure that it was level. We're attaching these brackets on after we level them with our tech screws. The next step is to secure the U-channel alongside the end rafters so that you can place your plastic around and secure with wiggle wire. We did these on both sides and then along the baseboard. 
We're duct taping all of the sharp edges so that way when we pull the plastic cover over, it doesn't rip. We also have installed the U-channels on both baseboards. The next step was to pull the plastic over the top of the hoop house. We did this by unrolling the plastic, taking one end, lifting it over on this ladder and step stool, and pulling it over the house, trying to make sure not to snag the plastic on the various different edges. We will now pull it tightly against the U-channels and place this wiggle wire in the channel in order to secure the plastic. The hoop house is complete and we can now design doors for the sides if we'd like to insulate over the winter.